Why is Ripple XRP price not going up? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in this video I'll talk about Ripple XRP in a fundamental point of view and also guys to end the video I'll look at the technical analysis as well and do what I do best. But few, a lot of people ask me about Ripple guys, it's probably one of the most popular coins. People keep asking me on YouTube, people talk to me about it on my Facebook group and on Twitter. People always ask about why is XRP not going up, when is it going to go up? So I thought I'll give you guys a perspective from a trader and it's not really fundamental, I'm not talking about Ripple project, um, the main point I'll talk about is the circulating supply. So I've been doing a bit of analysis on that, I, I, I looked into the supply of XRP a while back and um, there is some discrepancy, there's arguments of whether what crypt, uh, what uh, coin market cap state XRP's supply is, is is wrong. It's a lot higher. Some people it say it's a bit lower. So there's a lot of. I mean, I I couldn't make up my mind really whether it should be this or not. There are more people knowledgeable on XRP and their project to confirm that. But from my understanding, guys, I mean, it doesn't matter if if the circulating supply is a lot more. What matters is the is the market cap. But if the data of the circulating supply is not correct, that doesn't help. Or also what doesn't help is if the circulating supply changes. So XRP fuel, I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, article guys. The, the XRP ultimate circulate ultimate supply is 100 billion as you can see the total supply but currently the the number stands at for what it used to be for 40.9 uh, billion and it has increased in over a year you can see or well, less than a year in December 16 it was 40 billion now it's 41 billion so it's gone up and why does it matter it matters because when trading is supply and demand when you know when bitcoin was going crazy a lot of people weren't selling and there's a high demand people wanted to buy and the price just went crazy if the supply increases in xrp then it means the price will go down and the demand is not there as much so that is a, one of the reasons why i think xrp price isn't going up and um, yeah this is something that if, if i'm a trader i mean i don't i trade the technicals and to be honest guys xrp price it, it, the technical is not looking good we have spikes like this and then there's no follow through spike no follow through and again i've taken two losses in xrp you've seen today in my bnb and litecoin trade in a previous video and some of the calls i've made on litecoin on bnb on cardano there have been some great trades in xrp i took two trades because it's so beaten down i'm expecting a bounce soon but whether it's going to be a bounce and higher highs or it's not going to bounce that's the question it is at another key level now so let's see if we get something going on here so that is what i'm looking at for xrp guys from a technical point of view but from a circulating point of view, from a fundamental point of view, XRP has a, XRP, a lot of it is locked in escrow and they release it uh, monthly. They sell some, I believe, uh, which is not good because, you know, increasing supply. That is one of the point of views why, I mean, one of the negatives of XRP, according to me as well, uh, is, is quite centralized. I mean, it doesn't really matter because, you know, there's a lot of big whales in Bitcoin that can sell as well. But I don't think it's as much as XRP from my, my point of view. Again, I'm a trader, I'm a technical analyst, but I like to learn about the fundamentals of of the of a coin that I'm invested in, especially Bitcoin, which is you know I'm a bit I, I love Bitcoin. So one thing that you can do is if you're heavily invested in XRP, look at the big uh, transfers from their wallet. It's something that I used in Bitcoin when MT Gox issues when they were getting transferred out of wallets and we had a big drop. So you know keep that in mind as well. XRP, you can see what's been moved out of their wallet. Uh, you can do more digging around. This is another article. It talks about you know the confusion with Ripple statistics. Coin Market saying they're just uh, showing what Ripple they're getting the data from Ripple's uh, statistics. Some people are saying it's a lie. Some people said coin market cap is going to go go die because Ripple support is massive on Twitter, on YouTube, on Reddit. They've got one of the a crazy support XRP army. Uh, they're called. So another article that I found really interesting is this is what Ripple says is the circulating supplies uh, 41 billion. Some is restricted and some are escrowed. But this guy talks so the circulating supplies a lot less. 
and you can have another read there's a lot of confusion whether what the what's the correct supply is, is there's more knowledgeable people on reddit that you can find that knows a bit more about the the ripple project from my analysis guys i like to think it is not 41 billion because there's a lot of restriction you can read read it on this but i don't like, agree that it's 25.7 billion is restricted because if the circulating supply is low that means uh, the market cap would be lower as well because they're taking it from i believe the the market cap is counted from the circulating supply so there's few things that we can look at guys i mean we can do a quick calculation to find out whether the market cap is calculated from from the circulating supplies so if you multiply um the 41 billion uh, times the price of it you you'll get what the the market cap is and you get something similar to that so um, i'm pretty sure that is how uh, the market cap is calculated the the so we need to be careful of that guys one thing that i would say to you guys if you're heavily invested guys look keep that in track if you see lots of being transferred you know that could potentially mean they could dump it uh, and sell xrp and it could go lower but the main reason is so this is one point of view of the price why it might not be going higher because you're not getting as much uh, the supply is going up um, and there's not much news I mean that's the main thing I'd say the hype you know XRP always has like a big news come up you know I was surprised that Coinbase news didn't have much, much of an effect this was this is where I got in in XRP last year that was a big trade of me, mine it was really profitable we've seen a spike and we saw follow through that is what I like to trade and um, that was driven, news driven I think it was um, XRP being used or something we've had some more news like this and it's always a hyped coin but we've not seen much hype around xrp i still think we'll see a spike at some point maybe they announce a new partnership i'll talk about from another trader point of view how xrp can be pumped but this is what i wanted to share with you today guys about the supply what are your thoughts on it if you're more knowledgeable than me on xrp ledger on the ripple project let me know guys we can have a discussion in the facebook group guys or if you comment below uh, we can have another discussion around it and um, so yeah uh, that is the quick video update on xrp guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i did xrp giveaway last time uh, next giveaway it will be litecoin because litecoin has been most my, my most profitable trade it's all public guys i've shared with you exactly all the videos about when i was trading it so if you want to be in with a chance of winning some litecoin remember to turn on the notification notification button and leave your litecoin address in and um, as a thank you guys i mean i don't charge anything for these videos i put a lot of work in as a thank you i mean i'd really appreciate if you could turn on the notification button and comment below uh, using a, a ripple or ripple and um, that really helps it helps me out guys if you can turn on the notification button for me if you enjoyed these videos and if there's any more videos you want me to make on ripple or any other trading advice uh, if you want to learn more about trading you can email me as well i'll do free skype calls uh, 15 minute free skype Skype calls if you want to learn more about trading and how I trade and my strategy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment below what your thoughts on Ripple is. Do you think the price will go up? What's your thoughts on the project and the, the supply? Are there any news coming out? And we'll have a discussion in the comment section below. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and go XRP.